For problem 36, we're trying to see if this series here um, converges or diverges, and we're going to test the using the divergence test. And now, <clears throat> the divergence test that says that if you take the limit of the whatever's inside the summation um, symbol, so if you take this limit of a sub n, so in the case of 36 is the limit of this guy over here, as n goes to infinity, if the limit is not equal to zero, that means that it diverges. Uh, and this is because if the limit is not equal to zero, it means that as you add all these terms, the sum is necessarily going to be changing because you're going to be adding a non-zero term every single time. Whereas if the limit is zero, it possibly converges because with every single term, you're essentially adding zero, so it's not going to change. Um, so that's the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the limit of the stuff that's inside the summation symbol, and we're gonna see if that goes to zero. So we're gonna take the limit as n approaches infinity of the stuff that's within the summation um, symbol, so 1 plus 1 plus 2 thirds to the power of n. And let me just fix this, because this is a little ugly. Okay. So, um, this is going to be the limit on top is just 1, that doesn't change, right? So 1 over on the bottom is just 1 as well, as well plus what is the limit of two-thirds uh, raised to the power of n? Well, two-thirds is about 0 0.67, and if you raise that to a very large number, like, say, a million, um, it's going to go to zero because it's the absolute value of it is less than one. So with every time that you multiply by um, two-thirds, your total value is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So because we have that zero point... Oops, maybe I should do that in the... So two-thirds is going to be less than one, therefore two-thirds raised to the power of infinity, that's going to go to zero if we take the limit. So, with that being said, this limit, if we apply, it's going to be one divided by one plus zero because of two-thirds to the power of n as n gets large, that goes to zero. And it's the same thing as one. So we can see here that as n gets really, really large, what's going to happen is that the terms um, that you're constantly adding, they're going to get closer and closer and closer to one. Well, if you just keep adding one infinitely, your sum clearly is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's never going to stay stagnant. So we can say that it diverges diverges because the limit as n goes to infinity here is not equal to zero. So um, we can affirm that using the divergence test.